How you doing? This is Mr. Don, the creator of the NYC Shootathon, photographer, celebrity photographer. Today we're doing a shoot for Solo Child magazine, and we are blessed today with one of the, the young celebrities of our era uh, who works um, for the, the, the new hit show called Power. Her name is Don Shea. We'll be doing an interview and a photo shoot with her, with her today. We'll, she'll be wearing some couture clothing. We we'll do some headshots. We we'll do some urban wear, um, and the shoot is going to be featured in, and again, like I say, Solo Child Magazine. So stay tuned. It's going to be a doozy. Um, Solo Child Magazine is about new upcoming models that's from the ages three to seventeen years old. I try to give models the exposure. Children models, you know, it's hard for them in the business. Parents try to take them to agencies. They try to get them in fashion shows and it's very hard for them to get in. So I want to create a platform to help parents and children, you know, motivate, to help parents motivate their children careers. I like to create a platform to give them exposure, to give them media, to make them look fabulous, to make them look like divas and dawns. Well, I started acting when I was four years old. Four, wow. Mm -hmm. So I know that a lot of your roles are very adult kind of shows. How does that work? Like, do you have to ask your parents for them? Like, do they have to give approval first or? Well, basically how it works is when you audition, you usually get a call back. And when you get a call back, um, if they book you for it, you're, you're booked for the job. So you can either like, if you're available, so it's with your schedule, you can, you can accept or decline because they have like their first pick, their second pick, their third pick. So if you don't accept, they have like other people waiting. So if you accept, they, um, you get to look over, like your parents get to look over the contract. So my mom, she does everything like with my acting. Right. She looks over the contract, what I'll be doing. And she's like, as long as I'm comfortable with it, then she's fine. And all the characters, awesome. yeah, that I've played, I'd say they've been age appropriate, except for Monica. She's a little bit of a wild child. If you watch Orange is the New Black, Monica, yeah. I'm Black Cindy's daughter. How do you feel about getting killed off of power? I'm completely like fine with it now. Of course it is heartbreaking because for one, no one wants to like lose their job and that was like my favorite, one of my favorites and I loved playing Raina. And so like when I first heard when Courtney Kemp, the um, amazing creator and writer, of power when she told me I was so upset I was crying and I was like absolutely heartbroken but then like we talked over it and she was like no it's just like this reason we want to do things right. like this and um so it was like certain reasons of course like I can't discuss because it was a private conversation but a lot of people think that it was someone's fault it wasn't like anyone's fault it was just the writer's decision yeah, and she really wanted story. to shock the audience and kind of like just something that was totally gonna knock everyone off their seats. And I think we did that. Gonna paint the town with our amazing souls. Light up the dark night skies. And we'll act crazy. Sing a lot of power just in our It's an EP. An EP? Yeah, it's but we're working on the album. 3.2, what, what was the inspiration for the name? The inspiration for the name, a lot of people ask me this like a lot. It's actually my birthday. 3.2 is March 2nd. And so a lot of people tell me like, you're such a Pisces, you're such an indigo child. And I'm like, what does that mean? So I, like, I looked it up and I was like, oh wow, I guess I kind of like am an indigo child, I'm pretty creative. And then I made my own word out of it. And I was like, you know what, 3.2. And I was kind of inspired by Adele who does like her albums with the age she wrote them and also Taylor Swift with 1989. So I was like, you know what, I'll do 3.2. 3.2, what it means. It means like being yourself, loving who you are, and just being like uniquely you. I guess you could say, you could say, hey, I'm just an like that. I was just kind of like going over my whole life, and um, I started talking at nine months old, which a lot of people don't know, but if they've seen my interviews, I talk about it a lot. And so I was born premature, so when I said, um, um, my life hasn't been normal since the day I was born. Right. It hasn't, so I was just kind of looking back at all of that, and that was like my inspiration for the song. And I wanted to show like other people, kids with disabilities or kids with skin conditions or kids that are going through certain things that people may think are weird. Is weird. Um, I just wanted to show them like you're totally normal and it's okay to be not like them. To be different. To be different, because exactly. if everyone was the same, the world would be so boring. 